What's up everybody? This is James, AKA J Moore on Keys, and I'm back with another tutorial for you guys today. And today I just wanted to show you three simple shout praise break patterns that you can do on keys during the drive, which is the main part of the shout, probably the most important part of the shout. All right, so the whole idea of it, if you're not, if you're not familiar, is when the praise break starts, drummers going, people dancing, the bass player is doing a walk. So the bass player is doing just over and over and over again. And you gotta figure out what you're gonna do on keys to accompany the praise break. So I'm gonna show you some basic patterns that you can do today. And make sure that you learn these in all of your keys because a shout could break out in any key and you might not have time to move them up to A flat. So, or down to A flat. So make sure you go over these in every key. But today we're gonna to be in A flat, the church key. <laughs> so let's go over the scale real quick. We have A flat is the one, B flat is the two, C is the three, C sharp or D flat is the four, E flat is the five, F is the six, G is the seven, and A flat is the one. And you might see, as I go through this, you might see a couple notes that are outside of the key, which is fine because in shout and gospel, there's kind of some blue notes, as we call them, that are kind of not exactly in the major scale, but they fit for the context. All right, so don't be alarmed if you see some notes outside the key. All right, let's take a look at that first pattern. Here we go. So let's break that move down real quick. So we're coming out of that walk up. Three, four, up, five, six, up. And by the way, I'm not gonna cover the walk up in this video. I just wanna cover the shout drive moves. But if you do want a video covering the walk up for the praise break, just let me know in the comments and I can do that for you, no problem. All right, so we're coming out of the walk up. Three, four, up, five, six, up. And you stop here, don't walk it up to the one, but stop at six, up, right here, and then you're gonna hit the move. So that's really simple. This is probably the easiest one out of the three. So we have E flat, F, and A flat. And you're just hitting those single notes. I'm doing octaves, you can do octaves, whatever you're comfortable with. Five, six, one. All right, and then we have two chords. So in my left hand for that first chord, and it's like you're doing a, you're just doing a, like a suspended and then a, and then a resolve. All right, so in my left hand for the first chord, I'm doing F sharp, B flat, and C sharp. And in my right hand, I'm doing B flat, C sharp, F, and A flat. So that's my first chord. And I hit that twice. One, one. And then I bring, in my left hand, I bring this C sharp down. So I'm doing F sharp and C. And you can throw that B flat in if you want as well. And in my right hand, I'm doing B flat, C, F, and A flat. So that's the whole chord. So one, one, one. And sometimes I'll just twang up from that B to the C for a little more flavor. All right, so let's go over this real slow, coming from the walk up. So here we go. Three, four, up, five, six, right here. Five, six, one. Uh, uh. And then we walk. 
fuck it up again. And, uh, And those are also the same two chords I'm doing at the end. That's why it works so well. So it's just those chords again. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, so let's break that pattern down real quick. So we come out of that walk up and we go straight into the. All right, so that's a really simple move right there. First thing we're doing is playing the B, B major chord. We got an inversion there. So that's gonna be, and we're just doing, doing our right hand for right now. It's gonna be F sharp, B, and E flat. And then we move it up a whole step, A flat, D flat, or C sharp, and F. And then we go right back to that B chord again. So right back to back. So after we hit that B for the second time, then we hit A flat octaves. One, two, you can add the E flat if you want to make it a little more full. So all together that's. And then my right, and my, then my left hand comes in, hitting that tritone movement, F and B. And then you move that up a half step to F sharp and C. Kind of like resets the move. So that's the whole thing all together. Let's practice that nice and slow. One, two, ready, go right now. So let's go over that move real quick together. We're gonna to come out of the walk and do. All right, so this is probably my favorite out of the three moves that we're going over today. So in my right hand, we're doing quite a bit. I'm gonna start with A flat, keep that at the top. And while I'm holding that, I'm gonna quickly go from B flat to B, just kind of flip over to the B from B flat to B. So, so after that, A flat octaves. Again, you can add that E flat. And after that A flat, my left hand is going to come in and pick up on that F down to the E flat. So all together. Just practice that for a little bit. Make sure you got that really solid. And you can add the F in the right hand too to that move. Just to make it a little more full, whatever you wanna do. All right, after that E flat in the right, in the left hand, we're gonna play two chords back to back. So that first one is B, E flat, A flat. And then we go up to C sharp, F, and B flat. So, so far. And 
then we just finish it off with that tritone pair to reset. F and B in my left hand, and I bring that up a half step to F sharp and C. So all together, let's do it nice and slow. One, two, ready, go, and now. All right, and that is the whole thing. All right, guys, make sure that you practice these patterns in every key. If you learn these, you will be able to get through any praise break easily, okay? Just make sure you practice these in every key. And make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you leave a comment if there's anything else that you need uh, me to go over or any other songs that you would like to learn that you want me to do on the channel. And thank you for watching. Happy practicing, everybody.